The funny thing about this recipe is that it's not a family recipe at all. It can be found on the back of most bags of butterscotch chips. But for me, every time I bake them, I think of my mom. My mom, Sarah, she was incredibly driven, super intelligent, so independent. She worked a lot because that was how she could create a better life for ourselves. I remember us being temporarily homeless, but I also remember us living in an upscale gated community, and that was because of her. It was just us against the world. There was nobody else. But when I was 12, she passed away from breast cancer. And the year before that, there was a baking contest that we entered, and we baked these cookies. And we won. And I won this wooden trophy spoon, mixing spoon display. It had ribbons on it, it was painted, and I remember being told that I had to return it the next year so the next winner could enjoy it. And I wasn't super thrilled about that, but was fine enough hanging on my wall in the meantime and showing it off to my friends. But it was shortly after that that my mom's health took a turn. I didn't realize, she never told me, that she was terminal. And when things took that turn, it happened fast. It happened too fast. And after her death, I remember being told by somebody that I could keep the trophy, the baking contest wooden spoon trophy. And it was such a small consolation for such a big loss. I remember thinking that even though I was 12. I remember thinking, I don't want the spoon. I would rather have my mom. But that's, and you know, years later, I think I was just feeling really disconnected from her memory. You know, the, the hard part about losing someone so young is that you just don't remember them. You just, you don't remember the sound of their voice. You don't remember how they looked at you. You don't remember much, very little, bits and pieces. And I started baking these cookies 10 years ago for my friends and coworkers every holiday season, I think to get some of that back, to reconnect somehow. I don't remember a lot about my mom, but she did have a big heart. And anything I can do to show my appreciation now to the ones I love, because I didn't have that opportunity then, I have to do it.